right, everyone. Glad you could join me here on this Friday review of the Cabral Concept. Every single Friday, bringing you a book review or a quick tip that I think you will want to know about or at least share with someone in your life. Always go through a product review. I love testing out products for you. Uh, we even went over a whole SCAR-based protocol, which we'll talk about as we dive into today's show. But I've got a brand new product, one that I want to share with you, all the different benefits that I started to use myself because I'm on a quest to absolutely continue to improve my sleep in every way, shape, or form. And so I'm testing out so many different things. This one actually seems to have some real merit. And then two research studies that I can't wait to share with you as well. So let's dive right into the show. First things first, I always love to share with you all the different shows that you may have missed earlier in the week so that if they're of interest, you can always just head on over over to stephencabral.com slash podcast and check out those shows. On Monday's show, we went over how your gut and your mindset are connected. This is so important because I always do a mindset and motivation Monday show. I think it's really important. I do it for myself. I do it for our community. But sometimes you're just stuck. You are literally stuck. And no matter what you do, you feel like you're irritable, you're overwhelmed, and you just you just can't make progress. And I've been there myself and I get it and I understand. So have many of my clients. And this is when you need to really look at, might I have something going on in my digestive system since my digestive system is literally connected from my enteric nervous system and vagus nerve to my brain. So I give you all the details on Monday's show. I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, that was episode 3426. Tuesday's show was foods that increase or decrease stress levels. So believe it or not, there are actually a handful of foods that dramatically increase stress and a handful of foods that dramatically decrease stress. So whenever you're feeling stress, you can eat these foods and they decrease them. Whenever you're feeling low energy, you can actually eat certain foods and it'll give you a little bit of a boost. Now, some are healthier than others, and I share that on the show. All right. On Wednesday's show that I alluded to was the SCAR protocol how to literally be able to now through amazing clinical topical treatments. And again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies to one, decrease the thickness of the scar and two, lighten the pigmentation of that scar as well. So pretty impressive. I bring you a simple three stage process and you use it three to six months, clinically proven up to 80% or better results on removing scars. Even if you just remove 80% of the scar, Pretty great, right? All right, and then yesterday's show was PQQ, the missing mitochondrial booster for energy and anti-aging. Definitely recommend checking out that show on a nutrient that uh, people are starting to hear more about. I wouldn't say like that nobody knows about it, but people are starting to hear more about it and all of its benefits for energy in both brain and body. All right, let's dive into today's show. One of the products that I wanted to bring to you, because I get so many questions on it, and I'm actually going to be doing a follow-up show, because I've, I did it like eight years ago on all the different forms of magnesium. I'll do a follow-up show on that, because I want to help you choose the right form for you. But if you're someone who is focused on your brain and brain aging, there is a type of magnesium that is just different than the others, and I want to share why in just a moment. And it the reason why it's different is because it really can't be combined with a lot of other forms of magnesium in the same capsule, and I'll share why in a second. And it is the one that passes the blood-brain barrier to the greatest degree. So there are other forms of magnesium that still help the brain, like magnesium glycinate. However, magnesium 3 and 8, L3 and 8, as it's officially called, technically passes the blood-brain barrier exponentially in greater amounts than any other form of magnesium, even magnesium glycinate. So for those people that are really focused on maybe more anxiety, although I would say magnesium glycinate is excellent for that because it works in the nervous system, but you're worried about Alzheimer's, dementia, maybe even Parkinson's, although I know obviously the nervous system is connected with that, and you're worried about improved cognition and better sleep at night, magnesium 3 8 might be a great product for you. Now, why did I say it's typically not combined with others? Well, we have a product called Full Spectrum Magnesium, and initially I said, great, we're going to add magnesium 3 and 8 to full spectrum magnesium. And so I'm working with the team of scientists that I have that I work with. And lo and behold, there's a reason why magnesium 3 and 8 is almost always sold on its own. And that is because you need a lot, a lot of 3 and 8, L3 and 8, to be bound to the elemental magnesium in order for it to have clinical effects. So this is why it's really important to purchase any nutritional supplement you get through a 
good functional medicine supplement company. That's, that's really what it comes down to that does the research. And let me just share with you why. Let's just say, so in most magnesium threonates, you'll get like 120 to like 150 grams of magnesium. That's great. That's the elemental magnesium. But it needs something that it's connected to, bound to, like glycinate or lysinate or citrate, any of those, right? You've heard of those probably before. Well, threonate, you don't just bind it to 100 milligrams. So that's like the cheap forms. You might say, oh, we've got a new magnesium threonate, L3 and 8, and it only has 100 milligrams or so that it's bound to. No way it's crossing your blood brain barrier. That's the thing. So when you look at a product, so I'm just going to share with you the magnesium threonate. It's called advanced magnesium threonate. We can't link any of these up because we talk about Alzheimer's dementia. Those are disease-based states, right? And so FTC, FDA does not allow us to link them up. This one has 144 milligrams of magnesium L3 and 8 through the patented version, which is called Magteen. And it has two grams. That's 2,000 milligrams of L3 and 8. That uh, right around there, 1,500 to 2,500, call it 2,000, is what you want in order for it to take effect to be able to pass the blood-brain barrier. I could talk about this all day, but this is why, again, just going with a good functional medicine company is the one that you want to go with. If you're working with an integrative health practitioner or naturopathic doctor, they're going to take care of you. They're going to recommend the companies that they know work. But if you want to use the one that we use in our practice, it's on the longevity line by Equalife, and it's just called magnesium 3 and 8. Nothing fancy. This is the one that you take two capsules before bed, you can take it after dinner. It's no problem at all. And this is one that's going to be clinically proven to pass that blood brain barrier. What have I been doing? I've been taking one uh, or two of the full spectrum magnesium at dinner. Typically, it's two. And then instead of using the calming magnesium, which I might use before bed, I have a scoop. Uh, I use actually one to two capsules of the magnesium three and eight. So you can start with one capsule and you can work your way up to the full serving, which is two. That'll get you 144 milligrams of the magnesium with the bound three and eight. And I think that's going to, again, I, you try it out yourself, but it helps me do the thing that I'm looking to, which is more deep sleep, more REM sleep, more quality sleep in the time that I have. Because you're busy, I'm busy, we want to make sure every minute counts. And it helps with the energy, it helps with fatigue, mental clarity, and hopefully a lot of these neuroprotective longevity-based factors we're looking for, all right? So magnesium, three and eight, you can check it out from your favorite company, or just go to stevencabral.com slash shop and search magnesium three and eight, three, uh, T-H-R-E O. N-A-T-E, and you'll be able to find it. All right, book review of the week coming up. I, you know, I, re, I got to Maine, and on my desk, sometimes I look for signs, right? I look for these signs. On my desk is a few books that I, because I have books everywhere, called The Art of the Good Life. Now, I don't know if this was for me or if it was someone out there for you, but I kind of take these things sometimes as signs. This is 52 Surprising Shortcuts to Happiness, Wealth, and Success by Rolf uh, doubly. Now, I had previously read this book. I don't know if I reviewed it on the show. I didn't ask my team. I didn't go and look it back up, but I'm going to give you two book recommendations because, you know, it's interesting. This, I, I went back through this book. I want to share this with you. This is really important. This is not, this was not one of my favorites. This is not one of my, my daily readers or anything like that. It is a very good book, but there's a couple passages that I took from it that were important, that when I opened it, I'm like, oh, maybe that's why I was here to read this. And it was on basically a prison of good reputation, how to shift from external to internal validation. And one of the reasons why this is important, and I try to teach this to our IHP community and other practitioners, is that the, the bigger your name gets and recognition gets, it's just the law of numbers. So when, when you have a smaller group, most people are they're appreciative of you, they're thanking you, whatever it might be, and you're, you love it because you're doing exactly what you want to do. But as you start to reach more and more people, and they don't know you as well, there's a lot of haters in the world. That's just the way that it is. And so you have to, it's important that as you grow, that you don't get your recognition externally. It comes from internal validation, from your faith, from your family, from your work. That's really what I look at. I like, I look at, am I doing good work? That's what matters. Does my family love me? Am I doing that right? Okay, good. And then how's my faith? How strong is my faith? If those things are good, 
I, does it matter too much what other people think of me? No, I always say it's just it's none of my business, right? Now, I'm fortunate. I really am. I'm very fortunate that the comments I see are, are you know, t- typically positive, which is great. I try to put positivity in the world. But no matter what, people will always label you. They never work with you. They don't know you the way that it is. So again, this was, and I'm not saying anything bad about this author. The book's great. Some things speak to you, some don't. But every once in a while, all you need is one passage from one book and it can make a difference. So this was The Art of the Good Life. But I'm also using this as a coffee table book and I'm very much enjoying it. So that means that I don't have a specific time of the day that I read this book. But if it's on the coffee table, I'll pick it up and read a passage or two. And I love using books like that too. So in my office, I have a little coffee table as well. It's called The Daily Dad. So You have a dad in your life. You have a a father in your life. You're a dad. This book is better for when someone's thinking about becoming a dad or you have young children. Older dad, not as important, honestly. So again, I like to to give you the, the truth about all of these books. But it's 366 Meditations on Parenting, Love, and Raising Great Kids by Ryan Holiday. Ryan Holiday, you might have heard before publishes a lot of stoic based works the obstacle is the way and the daily stoic both of those i've reviewed before good daily readers or good coffee table books as well there's not a daily mom there's but there's a daily dad i'm assuming because ryan's a dad that he wrote the daily dad but when you look through this book do i agree with all of it no because i don't agree with all of stoicism but i am very much stoic in my beliefs and the way that i go about my day i try not to get overly high on anything overly low i try to stay level but i also very much just enjoy living life like that's the thing i enjoy life i enjoy the process the unfolding of life so there's there's much in here that i love and there's some that i disagree with and there's also the nice thing is if i disagree with that i always ask myself why why do you disagree with that do you really believe that is that true to you and i always keep going back to the question of why right the socratic based method so it's an excellent job like it's all about and especially with younger kids it's being a role model. It's trying to be a mentor. It's not always doing the thing where you're going to be their best friend, but it's however to make the hard decisions. It's understanding that they'll listen to what you say sometimes, but they'll always watch what you do. So just great passages. They're about a half a page a day. That's it, a half a page. So if you want to keep this on a coffee table and just because parenting is not easy, but if you want just the daily reminder, how I show up matters, great book for that. All right, now let's get into the research. So first research study for the day. Here's the headline, and it is a big one. Scientists are being hired by big food to actively develop snacks that are designed to bypass the effects of GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic. So think about this. When you take a GLP-1, like the GLP-1 tone system, which is all natural, or a pharmaceutical-based one like Ozempic, it reduces appetite and cravings. So now scientists are being hired in order to create signals in the body for more of that, I'll call it fake food, because it's going to be be built in a lab, maybe it has some certain extracts, but built in a lab that they're gonna market as healthier foods but it's actually going to be a processed food that bypasses the reduction in cravings that GLP-1 drugs create. So I thought this was really, really deceptive. And it looks like they're gonna go back to their previous tricks of using salt, sugar, and fat in very specific ratios in order to create at least tongue palatability and the addictive nature of these foods. So. What they're going to have to try to do is get you to at least taste the food, right? Because you'll still have the reduced cravings with things like the GLP-1 tone, but they're going to have to get you to taste it. Once they taste it, then the combination on the malt, the palate, the taste buds of the sugar, the salt, and the fat is going to then create that more addictive base quality. It's almost like a handful of like roasted, salted nuts or chips. Those things are highly addictive. That's why they put them at a bar when you get, you know, a small bowl of, you know, cashews or roasted nuts or whatever it is, you want to eat more. You want to drink more, right? So they know what they're doing. So I'm going to update you more on this, but I'm going to send over the link if you want to read more about this. This is preliminary, but it's already been shown 
that, that this is happening right now. I'm not surprised, to be honest with you, but just, again, be careful, be on the lookout. If it comes from a box or it comes from a bag, it is suspect. Now, there are healthy foods in boxes and bags, but if it comes from a box or a bag, you've got to make sure that it is not it is not processed and not creating an addictive behavior for from you for these neuroadaptive based cravings that it will then rewire into the brain. All right, second study for the day is on and this was pretty amazing. This you're not going to see in the news. A peer-reviewed study calls the combination of ivermectin, fenbendazole, vitamin E, curcumin and CBD, a groundbreaking protocol for fighting cancer. Now, again, I have to give you my disclaimer. I can't provide any medical advice, medical treatment, medical cures, or medical diagnosis of any kind. This is simply education-based. But if you look at stephencabral.com slash cancer, I show you independently all the research, the best research that I've come across to date. And those are all on that page. This is not surprising to me. But when we are now getting corroboration that there is actual studies going on proving the efficacy, it's something for us to think about. Now, I'll share with you some of the new things I have found. We already know about CBD. We know about these great things. Ivermectin and Fenben, Fenbendazole, are being shown to work better together, even for parasite-based issues. And the reason is, is that Ivermectin gets some, Fenben gets some. And so in conjunction, they can work better. Now, you really want to work with a practitioner when doing these things. And the reason is, is that they're, they're safe, yes, but they should not be used on a daily basis. They should actually be pulsed where you're going to have less chance for liver toxicity as well. So all of these things, again, it's amazing. All of these things are, they're getting out into the media. They're getting out in front of people like you. So you'll maybe have heard this show, maybe you've heard it in other places, and then you'll start to share it with people. People will go to unbiased websites like stephencabral.com slash cancer. There's nothing for sale there. There's not even any links. And it just goes through all independent-based cancer research. But this is also the reason why YouTube also bans many of my videos and has shut down my account for a full week at a time. Won't send me the little plaque that you get when you hit 100,000 followers. It's crazy. And again, do I care about any of those things? No, but it, like, it just goes to show you, I'm quoting specific research, I'm sharing exactly what can help people, and, and a lot of these channels, they don't want this information necessarily opened up. That's the truth, and that is from, I don't know what level or what powers that be, but why wouldn't we wanna help more people? I, I'm not even against any protocols that work for people that can save their life. If this could be another one, why aren't we sharing this with more people? So let's keep making this a grassroots-based effort. Uh, for all the details on today's show and the research links, plus the book links, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3430. That's today's show notes. And for testing out magnesium 3 and 8 to see if it helps improve your brain, body, and overall sleep, you can head on over to stephencabral.com slash shop and just type in three and eight and you'll be able to find it. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing day. I'll be back tomorrow with more of our Cabral House Calls. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.